Welcome to Sergey's Chemistry. Today we're looking at azovioleto or magnesium reagent. It is a diazo compound. Two benzene rings joined by double bonded nitrogens. It lives true to its name. It's really violet. And it's normally sold in condition when it's very alkaline. pH is above 13. I can check the pH with pH paper. You see, it's really 14 or so. What happens if I change the pH, adding some sulfuric acid? It turns yellow. Actually, yellow is the color of this at any pH below 11. It can be used as pH indicator also. Let's study the salts. Aluminum, zinc, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, chlorides, sulfates, nitrates. These are salts, white, crystallic, and they form colorless solutions. We are supposed to be able to see using magnesium reagent clearly magnesium separated from all of this. Let's try this out. Adding three drops of each of the solution uh, of the salts and then dilute them with water as I hope the test is sensitive enough. Now it's the time for magnesium reagent or azovioleth. It's alkaline, so I expect the precipitates of hydroxides. Here aluminum hydroxide is precipitated. Seeing hydroxide also I expect the same. Yellowish color. Maybe the complex is formed, maybe it's just because of change of pH. Characteristic test for magnesium, blue precipitate or blue lake. If I shake it out, blue precipitate clearly visible, setting it apart from all the rest. What about calcium, strontium, barium? Concentration of the salt here is not high enough to precipitate the hydroxides. Naturally, you expect precipitate of calcium hydroxide or strontium hydroxide. No, nothing. Calcium, strontium, barium, violet color, simply very dilute. To get color more natural, I have to really be sure that my pH is somewhere really above 13. So I am adding 3-4 drops of sodium hydroxide in each of these you can see that it really returns violet back in aluminum and zinc case. No change is expected in calcium, strontium, barium. Magnesium, which had greenish tinge before, now is clearly blue. So now we can see that magnesium reagent clearly sets apart magnesium. Blue precipitate or blue lake is formed. Make sure you just add sodium hydroxide. Here is the precipitate, and here is positive result surrounded by negative ones. Let's just run this again using high concentration of magnesium, just 0.5 moles per cubic decimeter magnesium sulfate. And magnesium reagent straight away. Blue color appeared, positive result. If I shake the test tube or just mix up uh, reagents in the droplet, you can see again greenish tinge appeared. Let's mend it, increasing pH again with sodium hydroxide. Make sure when you add magnesium reagent, you add sodium hydroxide to get natural blue color and remove other aberrations. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video. See you next time. Bye.